Hello, everybody. Uh, even though we aren't physically in school right now, Mrs. Cantrell and I still wanted to recognize the creative and talented artists that we have had the pleasure of teaching this year. We have so many students that live and breathe art. They strive to do their best on every art project. They are so disciplined and dedicated to their art making. And many uh, we know want to grow up and work for a career in the visual arts field. So we want to honor the individuals that are true embodiment of the word artist. The first awards that we will give out today are the Outstanding Artist Awards. We have searched our TJHS Art Instagram, gone back through the grade book, looked at class photos, and even reread the beginning of the year surveys to determine the recipients of this award. We have a specific criteria to determine these outstanding artists. These artists bring a high level of creativity, craftsmanship, and thoughtfulness to art both inside and outside of the classroom. All right, Ms. Braun, do you want to get us started with the seventh grade artists, outstanding artists awards? Yes. My outstanding artists for the 2019 2020 school year are Andrew Condy, Maddie Winthrow, Sienna Boblet, Connor Haywood, Mizuki Kato, Melissa Kodera, Annabelle Motler, Morgan Maxwell, Ellie Arnold, Kylie Snyder, Hayden Taylor, Mackenzie DeJesus, Olivia Ferrier, Kayla Huber, Walter Mergler, Addie Russell, Lily Zimmerman, Mia Beard, Krista Marie, Hamira Sandu, Kaylin Bailey, Ava Burns, Kenzie Smith, Ali Cottrell, Cameron Dittmers, Anna Hancock, Paige Vitangeli, Elena Wellbaum, Megan Alexander, Carmen Hudgens, Skylar Rambley, Jordan Shear, Julia Good, Tatiana Green, Annabelle Ludi, Alana Martin, Matthew Martz, Shania Oglesby, Alexandria Rammel, Zoe Rise Frias, Brooklyn Sanders, Ava Smith, JC King, Corinne Lombardo, Sophie Love, Courtney Bonaire, Mia Luciano, Chloe Gilig, Lexi Oldham, Leela Overholzer, Mia Yasudo, Abraham Shirian, Brooke Householder, Hannah Robinson, Mally Smith, Misu Tusuji, Elizabeth Westerhide, Alyssa Wren York. I am really sorry if I mispronounced any of your guys' last names wrong. I never call you by your last names. But <laughs> congratulations to all my amazing, outstanding artists in seventh grade. Yay! All right, Mrs. Cantrell, what about your eighth graders? All right, eighth grade outstanding artists in alphabetical order are Jason Almeida, Austin Baker, Kaya Baker, Jacob Bean, Logan Beringer, Clara Brown, Isabella Browning, Colin Burghardt, Tessa Caruso, Joshua Clark, Skylar Davis, Jonathan Dilbone, Kara Enneking, Kiana Ferrier, Lainey Freeman, Christian Fuentes, Miguel Gonzalez, <clears throat> Dean Hampshire, Olivia Hancock, Dayana Harris, Ava Harvey, Peyton Hazlett, Camille Hem, Emma Honeycutt, Annika Hurley, um, Jenna Johns, Jessica Johnson, Ella Jones, Ryan Kaiser, Elizabeth Catwick, Kylie Keita, Josie Kleinhens, Eloise Kolakowski, Kendra Kovacs, Hannah Kiramoto, Ashley Mock, Macy Musser, Parker Nichols, Elizabeth Nimi, Deanna Palmer, Sarah Pierce, Allison Ray, Anna Rindler, Aranta Riviera, Bradley Sprangenberger, Gwen Turnbull, Sophia Tyree, Braden Versellis, McKenna Wagner, Lena Walker, Owen Walters, Ronan Watkins, Emma Weaver, Caitlin Weikert, Brendan Wellbaum, Peyton Wilmoth, Olivia Wirth, Jude Wright, Haley Young, and Lydia Yunt. That's it. <laughs> Our next award is for most improved. We have chosen two students from our first semester and second semester art students. Uh, these students showed tremendous growth and confidence in their art making abilities. 
We are incredibly impressed by the hardworking attitude of these individuals, their enthusiasm, and their creativity. Okay. I'll let you get started with the seventh graders. Okay, I'll talk about my two seventh grade artists. Um, my semester one most improved artist uh, was notorious for stating his ideas for a project followed by, I don't know if I can do this because I'm not that good at art. Uh, that was always the phrase that he said. He had a major insecurity about his ability to make art. After working with a group of very talented artists during our paper mache collaboration project, I saw his confidence grow in his art making. He would still shakily present his ideas to me, but with a little bit of guidance, he was always able to execute his ideas with a tremendous amount of effort on his end. Uh, the whole semester, he stuck to his loves of fishing, hunting, and a bunch of other outdoorsy activities. Uh, he created one of the most complicated ceramic pieces that I've ever seen. He had a fish that curved around the Oh ceramic. my gosh, I remember that one. <laughs> Oh, it was amazing. Um, and he took, um, he also took on a very complicated pattern of camo. So like the camo that he would wear, he tried to make in his weaving project, which was really hard. So I could not be more proud to award semester one most improved artist to Mason Bayman. Congratulations, Yay! Mason. Yay! That's great. Um, for second semester, which was a little bit of a more crazy semester, as we all know. <laughs> um, my most improved artist for semester two was always a good student, making sure to get artwork completed and to follow every single direction. But he was a little bit hesitant when it came to our watercolor project. Then COVID-19 happened and our art teaching shifted. Mrs. Cantrell and I shifted to weeks of talking about art and creating art. We created art online on an online application called Canva, which we recommend to everybody, by the way. Um, this is where this artist really began to shine. All of a sudden, this timid artist that didn't, was very quiet in class, was creating stellar, one-of-a-kind, blow-your-mind graphics on Canva. I complimented him on his amazing work, and he was like, yeah, I'm much more of a computer guy. Uh, it was so incredible to see him shine at creating digital art and to carry that newfound confidence into his journal where he also created more digital pieces. My semester two most improved artist is Caleb Thomas. Congratulations, Yay! Caleb! Yay! All right, Mrs. Cantrell, what about your most improved eighth graders? Okay, my most improved student for semester one. This student started in his first semester art class about a week later than everyone else due to a schedule change. And I was afraid that he was going to be nervous about starting class later than his peers, um, but I was pleasantly surprised with the enthusiasm he brought to his first task of decorating his journal cover. He seemed to never have a shortage of artistic ideas. He took advantage of every opportunity to make art as he participated in October. Um, he also drew spontaneous portraits and funny signs for the room. Through all of this practice, he really grew artistically and by the second quarter had expanded creatively. One of my favorite artists, Jean Dubuffet, once said that art must make you laugh a little or make you a little afraid, anything as long as it doesn't bore. And it's very apparent that this recipient of this award subscribes to that methodology. He once figured out how to not just make a cool spray painting out of a hand cut stencil, but he also created a cool light display using the projector in the room with the same stencil. Um, an art class with this recipient of, the, of this award was never boring. He, um, I would like to thank him for all the great memories and congratulations to Connor Roan. <laughs> Good job, Connor. All right, so my second semester most improved kind of goes a little bit like yours where uh, because of the, the nature of how we were teaching change, this person really stood out. So the second semester of the school year obviously looked quite a bit different than the first semester, and as we spent the entire quarter learning online. While some students really struggled to make this transition, others seemed to thrive with virtual learning. This student earned most improved in my book because he went from being a decent student in the classroom to a rock star student online. He was one of the few people to take advantage of opportunities to meet with me through video chat and Google Classroom messages, and I honestly felt like I got to know him better as a student once we moved to that online format. Um, I asked him one time what he liked about online learning, and he said that he liked being able to work on his own time and take breaks in between doing schoolwork. 
This kid cracked the code with online learning because he was on top of everything. While I'm really pleased with the work that the student submitted online, I have to honestly tell you that his workmanship was also starting to catch my eye just before the pandemic um, with our large paper mache project. He seemed to be developing some really strong ideas for his group's poster and he was showing some great leadership. Um, I'm really sorry we didn't get to see how that project panned out, but I'm sure it would have been stellar. <laughs> I am very proud to announce that the second semester most improved eighth grade artist is Logan Overmeyer. Congratulations. <laughs> Great job, most improved art students. Right. So our last award is exemplary artist. We have chosen two students from our first semester and second semester art classes. The recipients of these awards are extraordinary artists. They go above and beyond in the art room, shocking us with their abilities and their creative visions, challenging us to be better teachers. We are proud to be their teachers, and we'd like to tell you a little bit about each one. Go for it, Ms. Brown. Okay, my semester one most exemplary artist happens to be a student who is good at everything. She's an incredible student, an award-winning athlete, a confident leader, a fierce friend, and of course, a phenomenal artist. She caught my eye during the beginning of quarter one when she took a tremendous amount of time to sketch out her idea, fully develop her rough draft, and do one of the most complex watercolor paintings that I've ever seen. She kept, oh, and it was my favorite villain, Corella DeVille, too. Uh, <laughs> she kept this determined above and beyond nature and complexity in her art making during the whole semester. She created an art journal full of creativity, diversity of art materials, and thoughtful ideas. One time, I had her amazing ceramic amplifier on my desk, and it was huge. It was like double the size of everybody else's. Um, and I also had her sketch next to it, complete with a list of the steps for the project, a front view, a side view, a color palette, and just like everything mapped out perfectly. She's like, she shares our art brain that we always talk about. Uh, another student came over and said, who made that? That's so good. And I said, well, it was, you know, this person. And they said, man, she is good at everything. Um, and she is good at everything, but it is because that she puts her absolute all into any work that she completes. It's because of her that she's so good at everything. She is determined, disciplined, creative, and full of talent. I'm so proud to announce that Kira Cole is my most exemplary artist for semester one. Congratulations! Yay! Yay. Okay, semester two. My semester two artist is one of, those, one of those people that just looks like an artsy person. A staff member once told me that this artist is cooler than any of us will ever be. And I couldn't so agree true. more. <laughs> she is an enthusiastic artist who since a young age has always had her own set of art supplies that she would bring to art class. She is passionate about social issues. She has a voice in her artistry. She's developed her artistic style and she is always committed to doing her best in all of her classes, not just art. She recently had her artwork displayed on the Adam Strait Bridges as a um, as part of their or as a winner of their holiday banner competition. She far surpasses my knowledge of digital art, often creating amazing digital illustrations. She even has an Etsy shop. She has knocked every single project out of the park, both in the classroom and online learning. My favorite project is her journal. In fact, I have shared every single art journal entry that she has ever created. <laughs> um, I even shared them in a video as I was flipping through the pages and I shared that on social media. And then the superintendent of Troy City Schools retweeted it and praised her efforts in her journal. I have absolutely no doubt that this artist will go on to pursue a career in musical and visual arts. I am so proud to announce that Avery Woodruff is my semester two most exemplary artist. Yay. Congratulations, Avery. Congratulations. Yay. Okay, back to the <laughs> trap. Okay. So this year I had the good fortune to work with a great number of talented students who really excel in visual art. Um, which created a bit of a challenge for me when I had to narrow it down to just one person from each semester who really stands out as an exemplary artist. When I consider recipients for this award, I not only think about who exceeds my expectations in the art room, but I also think about it as a sort of a most likely to have a future career in art award. And if I'm wrong about either one of these students using their using art in their future, I will quit my job. <laughs> Both of these students seem to inhale inspiration and exhale creativity. Their creative energy is, is contagious and I have enjoyed meaningful conversations with both of these students 
wherein I walked away totally inspired. So my first semester student during, um, well, during the first semester, when I saw students create stellar pieces of artwork, I often thought, oh, this person might be my exemplary artist this semester. And when we got to the home stretch of wrapping up the second quarter, a lot of students struggled to keep up a high level of motivation and creativity. Um, but this young lady kicked her creativity into high gear. She reminds me of the things I love of my own teaching partner, Ms. Braun. <laughs> I often joke about how Ms. Braun is extra. <laughs> always going above the call of duty to create something show-stopping. Uh, this student is definitely extra in that same Miss Braun fashion. She really brought her A-game for our final project, the infamous dress project. This student worked by herself to create an exemplary piece of wearable art that went way above the minimum expectations for the project. She upcycled records and sheet music to create a dress complete with matching accessories, earrings, a bag, and a pair of functional shoes with a wooden heel. I would have been, it would have been an impressive project for a group of four students, um, but it was really remarkable that it was her own solo creation. I was really proud to display her collection in the uh, student art show at the at the Hainer Cultural Center, and I am just as proud to present her with this award for exemplary artist, Miss Haley Loy. Excellent work! <laughs> Congratulations, Haley! Congratulations! Yay! <clears throat> All right. So my second semester, most outstanding student. Artists around the globe seemed to respond to the COVID-19 crisis in one of two ways. They were either creatively stifled or they were creatively motivated. And this student certainly fit in the latter category as she was frequently emailing me examples of the work she was doing on her own. Word is definitely out about her talent and her skills and they are respected by her peers and other staff members besides myself. She was even commissioned by Mr. Racy to paint one of his favorite characters, Ron Swanson, for a number of Trojan tickets. <laughs> I will not only remember this student for her amazing painting skills, but for her unique style. Um, I will also remember her as one of the, those amazing office fans that I was so privileged to teach. <laughs> Uh, the characters from that epic show are often featured in her work, but I promise you that had nothing to do with why I selected her for this award. <laughs> she had a great streak of artwork going on for our March Art Challenge right before the pandemic caused us to leave school, and on the collective board of student work, her entries really stood out. She has a signature painterly style that a lot of artists struggle to attain in their careers. Every project that she did in the third quarter was example worthy and her online work in fourth quarter was actually used as an example. This girl is going places and I feel confident that art is going to be her ticket to get there. So I'm excited to recognize the very talented Autumn Bowers as this semester's exemplary artist. Congratulations. <laughs> Here's your Dundee award. <laughs> yes. yes. <clears throat> We're, We're proud, proud of you! Love you guys. Bye. Bye. Oh, wait. Have a great summer. Have a good summer. Wait, we can say that. Yeah. Oh, summer we can, and we can be can creative. Have a good summer. <laughs> okay. Really, have a great summer. And be creative. Be healthy. Be safe. Be more creative. Be extra be more. Make stuff. Bye, bye. Sidewalk chalk. Art it up. Art it up. That's it. Art it up, guys. All right. Okay. Peace out. Peace out, Girl Scout.